Good morning. This is Linda, and I'm going to show you how the United Methodist Church uh, Montesano is making filters for the masks for people that are high risk and are working in a, an environment that have a lot of droplets. So this is the filter that we're making. A lot of the workers are going to need a double filter, so we're going to need a lot of them. What happens is they, they go inside the back of the mask. So a lot of your masks have a little place to put them, like that. Even if they don't, you could lay them in the mask and just put it on your face. Um, these are disposable, um, should be thrown away quite often, so we're gonna need a whole lot of them. All right, here's what we do. This, this uh, toolbox shop towels are the only kind that we use and they are carried by Tractor Supply Company and Home Depot, only places that I know of. Do not buy them on eBay or Amazon. They're price gouging and because uh, they're starting to get in short supply. If you can pick these up, that would be great. We need donations of money badly uh, for these supplies, uh, and we need volunteers, which is what you're gonna be doing today. So I'm gonna be giving you probably a six pack like that and that has 330 towels in it. Each one of those towels makes four of these, and we will be packing 32 of them in each of the baggies, marking it 32. So what I do is I just roll it out and start tearing them off. If you wanna do four at a time, our, our uh, experience has shown that four is as much as we can do with sharp scissors. Um, I think it would be okay to use your fabric scissors up to you. They're not supposed to cut paper. Um, I just use really, really sharp kitchen scissors. Also, I put a Band-Aid. I've got arthritis, so I put a Band-Aid uh, on this area. As you can see, it's taken some abuse, but putting a Band-Aid first will avoid uh, the blister that would come otherwise. All right. All right, so you've got your four, four towels. Um, they are different heights, don't worry about that. And you want to be dividing them in fourth. So you line them up best you can and you cut it in half this way. If you pull on the edge, then you've got some tension and it'll cut easily. All right, so then you've got four and four. All right, do it again. Line them up best you can. I'm being a little sloppy here, but make a little crease, and if you put some tension on it, it will really cut easily, all right? Okay, not rocket science. All right, the final step is to cut the little corners off. That helps it go into the mask a little easier. Uh, we've measured, it's about three quarters of an inch, but just, just taking the bit off it so that it can shove into the mask and not, you know, get caught up in the edges. So you cut off all the edges like this. And we're actually saving these for one of the volunteers. She's got an art project in mind. So if you don't mind, save them in a baggie and throw them in when you get done too. So once you have 32, each, each sheet um, makes uh, four. So it would be four sheets. Then your 32 will be something like, something like that. And it will go into the baggies. Try to get the air out a little bit so they stack better. And we will we will box them. They will be turned into a special bin at the youth um, uh, the youth building. And so just get in touch with me uh, that you you have put them there so we can pick them up and get them out to people. Thank you very much for your service. Over and out.